I year two. I hope you enjoyed that little introduction there from Mrs LePage and Mr LePage as well. Mrs LePage is one of our violin teachers and if you continue uh, with, with violin next year you might end up seeing her um, or you might end up seeing Mrs Geary or Mr Bound or myself. So I know that in the next few weeks you're going to be looking at what instrument you might like to continue with next year and we really hope that lots of you will continue with your strings because in orchestras we need lots and lots of string players and you're already really quite good at your stringed instruments so you're not starting from scratch so we hope that you'll make use of the the year three string scheme and do feel free to email me if you have any questions about that or if your parents have any questions about that okay so on to the film we're going to start with string blues which is a nice easy straightforward one for you to get warmed up and um patrick is has recorded this for us as well so after we've played our string blues, we're going to have a listen to Patrick playing his string blues. Let's make sure that our bow holds are looking good. Nice curved fingers. Find that bow hold with the, the stick held vertically first, up and down the way. How's your thumb? Nice curved thumb. Violins need the little finger on top of the stick and cellos need it over the stick. Okay, so... Make sure you're sitting comfortably cellos with your feet on the floor. Violins, uh, we can hold our hand down here. Nice upright position. Let's get our bows in the D string and we're ready to play. Here comes string blues. to ask yourself when you were playing string blues was your bow moving in a straight line parallel to the bridge that's what we're looking for because that's how we get our best sound it's a little bit harder for violins to see but can you see that my bow is parallel with my bridge and it continues parallel for the whole stroke okay so we're going to have a go at i like eating pizza which of course has got some quavers um, or T notes as well as our ta notes. Let's just remind ourselves of how it feels to play that rhythm. So we've got fast, 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 slow, slow. Let's try that together on the D string twice. Here we go. Ready, go. <laughs> Look at your bow holds, see if these are still in place, if you're still nice and relaxed. Have a few goes yourself and then get ready to play the whole piece through with me.
we're ready to have a go at Paganini now. So get your books and look in the last page and you'll find our Paganini piece. First of all, we're going to think about rhythm and we've got some words that can help us to do that. So um, we've got a question and an answer and then we've got another section with something slightly different. So if you could clap with me, okay? So here's how it goes. The piano says, who's that? We say Paganini. Okay, so you join with the clapping words. Who's that Paganini? Who's that Paganini? Who's that Paganini maestro? We do it again. Who's that Paganini? Who's that Paganini? Who's that Paganini maestro? Bowing on the A, lift your ball. Bowing on the G, lift your bow. Who's that? Paganini. Who's that? Paganini. Who's that? Paganini. My stroke. Okay, if you find that easy, then it's time to put the bow on the string. I'm just going to choose an open string to play the Paganini rhythms on. So we're doing the same thing, but except instead of clapping, we're going to make our bow say the words. Um, I'm going to choose the A string. Right, so join with me. Bow's on the A string. Who's that Paganini? Who's that Who's that? Paganini, my stroke. We do it again. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Then we do our A string bowing. Ready with me? Bowing on. about how was my posture? Was my violin up? Was my cello at the right height with the spike out? When we're playing the cello the pegs should be round about the ear, the height of your ear. Other things we can think about. Was I relaxed? Were my shoulders nice and low? We can have a shrug of our shoulders now. Put them up and then relax them down. Let's do that a few times. And let's have a bit of a bend of the knees for the violins. We can nod our head, make sure our necks are nice and loose. Look one way, look the other, back to the centre. This time we're going to sing through Paganini. So we're going to sing letters. I'll still do the questions, but then we'll sing everything with its letter name. So we start with an A. So it goes, who's that? A, 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 A. Who's that? Who's that? A, 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 A. And if you're a cello, you're not playing your open E string because you don't have one. You're putting your first finger on the D string. Okay, so next line, line number two. Who's that? A, 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 A. Who's that? B, 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 B. Who's that? And we've got the A string bowing. Ready? A, 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 Lift your bow. G, 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 G. Lift your bow. First finger. B, 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 B. No fingers. A, 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 A. Who's that? one 
last thing to practice before we play the tune, do with Ailes son with the piano. Let's think about our fingers. So violins and cellos, of course, taking our hands down to the ground floor and getting your first finger. Um, violins, we need the note B on the A string. If you're thinking of your five line stave, right in the middle for the violins. If you are a cello, the note B is the top line there. Okay, so there we are, first finger there. Let's just have a little listen to that. Let's do two A's and two B's. Can you play that with me and see if your B's, your first fingers match? Here we go. Let's try that again. You can move your finger a little bit if it's not quite sounding right. You can check your spot. You can make sure that you've got a nice upright finger. We always play in our fingertips. Here it is again. And. And for the cellos, let's check your D's and E's. So violins, you can just listen. Cellos, ready, play. And once more, off we go. Okay, have a practice of that yourself if you need to. But otherwise, get ready to join Ilsa playing Paganini. Before you start, make sure you've got your bow ready to play on the A string and your first finger hovering over a B.